So Mark and I doing a little bit of a challenge here. Um, he's making ramen, I'm doing pho. Um, getting ready to put some broth in my uh, cooker here. He's already got his going and I've got a little bit of catching up to do. But uh, here we go. I froze my broth that I previously brought out so I would be able to use it as a uh, cooler. So it's kind of slush now. We've been letting it sit out for a while. Um, so I've got two different types of meat. This one is going to be a ribeye steak and it's already really thinly sliced um, from the meat deli. I've got um, some beef brisket here somewhere and then uh, other than that I'm going to be putting in some white onion as well as some green onion um, and then with pho you normally have your uh, your bean sprouts and some of your uh, Thai basil. Alrighty so getting ready to uh, light the stove I'm using the uh, MSR reactor um, pretty much just turn the gas on a tiny bit give it a light off it goes um, basically the, the base will turn uh, nice and red when it's ready to go All righty. Noticing a, a little bit of a pine needle has fallen into my uh, soup. We can't have anything messing it up, so let's get that out of there. Maybe someday we'll do a pine needle tea, but uh, not today. So while the uh, broth is cooking here, one thing I should mention is one, th one thing that's really enjoyable with the, uh, the pho soup that I do not have today is the uh, sriracha as well as some plum sauce. So we're going to really rely on the uh, flavor of that broth. Alrighty, so the... Uh, Broth has come to a boil and I kind of killed it down. So we're getting ready to go ahead and add in um, our noodle. Um, after putting in the, uh, the noodle, uh, we've got, this is a white onion, green onion. Toss that down there. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some of the uh, ribeye steak in here first. There's a few pieces. The other one here is the uh, beef brisket. Throw that one in there. Let both of those cook. Um, they, they normally do cook down pretty quick. So there's not too much of an issue with that. I'm going to go ahead and throw the rest of the uh, ribeye in there too. There's going to be quite a bit of meat in this one. And then last we have the uh, bean sprouts. followed by some of the uh, Thai basil. I'm just gonna tear them off and throw them in there. Okay, so another treat you guys get to see today, this is gonna be my first attempt at doing uh, 
scalloped potatoes in this little tiny Dutch oven. Um, this is a half quart Dutch oven. So we got some fresh potatoes, probably way too many, um, from my backyard garden. Um, I pre-made some, uh, I don't even remember what you want to call it, just like the, the mixture for um, the potatoes. It's basically flour, water, and then some uh, mushroom. There's some cheese in there too. Give it that cheesy goodness. A little bit more cheese for the top. Um, if I have to and I need some salt and pepper, um, got salt and pepper shakers in the car, which is not too far off. But um, our fire's kind of getting to a point to where we can look at doing that and uh, looking forward to some uh, scalloped potatoes. Yum. All right, guys, so I'm kind of cheating here. I didn't give you the first bite. I was hungry. It's really good. I'm definitely enjoying the heck out of it. Um, pho soup. Forgot to show you, I'm also using the uh, Kung Fu chopsticks. Um, the uh, spoon part is right here, so you have a long spoon to go with the uh, chopsticks. Um, I've really enjoyed that thing. I, I've only used it maybe twice now, um, but it's great for the mountain house meals. Get real good and deep in the pocket. Don't get your fingers all icky. Alrighty, cheers. Oh man. It is fantastic. Would you say it was fabulous? Fabulous? <laughs> mm. Oh, that's so cheesy. Uh, Mark and I are both talking here about uh, pho versus ramen. I was saying, for me, it's probably going to be fairly mood dependent. His ramen was pretty darn good. Um, definitely no complaints. I would eat that. Um, Mark was saying he prefers the ramen noodle versus the pho noodle, the rice noodle versus the uh, the egg noodle. Ah, totally understandable. Everybody likes something a little bit different, but I'm going to enjoy my pho. Take care.